Peugeot have revealed their new 2024 spec 9x8 Le Mans hypercar, featuring a rear wing. In hypercar, manufacturers are allowed to make a limited number of upgrades to their car over its lifespan, and Peugeot are making by far the biggest update we've seen to a hypercar so far. The most notable change is the addition of a rear wing, making the car much more conventional. This is part of a complete overhaul of the aerodynamics, with 90% of bodywork redesigned, but the underfloor is still going to be key when it comes to generating their downforce. Arguably the most significant change is that they are moving to match the tyre dimensions of their opposition. Peugeot were the only manufacturer last year to run 31cm width wheels, compared to the 29cm fronts and 34cm rears of their rivals, and this proved to be a disadvantage for the 9x8, especially at Fuji. To accommodate this tyre change, Peugeot have had to change the centre of gravity, which means moving and lightening certain components. The car also features several reliability upgrades, as well as a brand new livery, featuring the addition of more yellow. The original 9x8 was a great concept, but suffered from the same problems Glickenhaus and the first Toyota had. It was designed for a slightly different rulebook to the one we currently have. In fact, the concept for the original car featured a rear wing, before Peugeot realised they had too much downforce for the rules at the time and elected to scrap it, but changes since have brought the wing back into play. And it's a similar story on the tyre front. They were originally only allowed to run the 31cm wheels, but they are now allowed to change to the quicker 29 and 34 option. These upgrades should allow Peugeot to be more competitive, more often, and give them a shot at their stated 2024 target of winning races. Just because Hypercar is a balance of performance class, doesn't mean that you can't upgrade your car's performance. With maximum performance equalised, the target is to be able to meet that maximum performance in as many conditions as possible. Hot or cold, smooth or bumpy, fresh tyres are at the end of a double stint. And this is something Peugeot struggled with last year. They were rapid at Le Mans and Monza, solid at Portimao, but off the pace at the likes of Fuji and Bahrain. Peugeot aren't alone in introducing upgrades for 2024. Porsche and Toyota have also done so. Peugeot have plenty of testing planned before this car makes its race debut at Round 2 of the World Endurance Championship at Imola on the 21st of April. The car ran at Paul Ricard in December was at Motorland Aragon last week, and is back at Paul Ricard next week. Personally, I'll miss the wingless wonder, but all the steps here make a lot of sense to address the issues which plagued Peugeot in 2023. I'm going to go over why the wingless concept didn't work in a future video, so keep an eye out for that one. What are your thoughts on the 2024 Peugeot? Please let me know in the comments below. And whilst you're down there, why not press that like button and subscribe to the channel? It really helps me out.